What's up everyone? Uh, in the last video, we created this method called compute li uh, linear moves in our uh, piece class so that we can uh, more easily uh, compute our legal moves for the rook, bishop and the queen pieces. So let's go ahead and uh, use this method to implement this method in our uh, remaining three piece types. So let's start with our rook. Uh, as always, I'm going to create a list of squares or legal moves uh, or a list uh, which I'm going to return in the end. All right, uh, and inside uh, this method, I'm going to call uh, my compute linear moves method four times, uh, once for each direction. So uh, as I have shown you before, this is the moving pattern of a rook, uh, which means that I'm going to call uh, my method once for this direction, once for this, and uh, one, uh, two, twice for the vertical directions. So let's go back to our rook. Uh, and um, each time I call my compute linear moves method, it's going to return a subset of my uh, total uh, legal moves. So uh, sub, it's going to return some square, a list of squares. So I'm going to add. Uh, all results to a single list, which is which is that one. So legal moves add all. So I'm adding all the elements uh, of the list, which is going to be returned when I call compute linear moves. As for the offsets. For example, for the right direction, I'm going to pass one uh, for the horizontal offset. So uh, this is horizontal and vertical, respectively. Uh, one means right and zero means uh, it's not moving vertically. And I'm going to call that four times in total. So minus one for left, and uh, I'm making horizontal offsets for up and down. So for up, I'm going to call one, and uh, minus one for down. And that's all. Uh, the important part was to implement this method. Once we uh, completed that, the rest is pretty easy. So let's jump to our bishop class. Let me copy and paste this code here because it's going to look like uh, look like pretty much the same. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. The only difference actually will be the offsets. So uh, let me open up the bishop. All right, so for example, if I'm going to start with that direction, I have to set one for horizontal offset and one for vertical. So uh, this will be both one. And for that direction, horizontal uh, argument is still one, but the vertical is minus one. One, minus one. And for that direction, both the vertical and horizontal arguments will be minus one. And finally, for this one, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be minus one horizontally and plus one vertically. So minus one and one. All right. And uh, our final piece is the queen. Uh, 
right? So uh, here is how the queen moves. It's basically the combination of uh, the rook and the bishop. So uh, we can simply copy and paste uh, the code and merge them together. So this is this comes from the uh, bishop here, and I'm also going to add those from the rook and we will have our final implementation here so that's it uh, that was simple and uh, with this video we are we have completed the implementation uh, of the compute legal moves method for all of our uh, chess piece types. So uh, in the following videos, we are going to continue with our other aspects of our game. We'll see you in the uh, next video and take care.